I've just finished rebuilding my dream home garage. I want to say thank you to Bradgate Construction Factory doing it, but wait till you guys see the inside. It is something I never dreamed that was ever even possible four years ago. I filmed update videos along the six months of building this thing and it's on the second channel, so it's a little bit rough and ready as all you guys expect, but I hope you guys enjoy it. Here are all the updates upon to the, going on to the finished product. <laughs> enjoy it well i guess this is the start of it check out the driveway at the minute it is a right mess we moved into this house in december you would have seen the video on the main channel in the top right hand corner right now the whole drive is being dug up to make a bigger driveway and my dream garage now my vision is to make a garage as big as where it goes to that window there and it's almost going to be like a showroom. But as the video goes on, wait and see what happens. I am so looking forward to this. Well, here it goes. It's crazy how much can be demolished in such a short time. And then to put it all back together takes such a long time. House there, right here used to be the garden. There was nothing there. And right now the builders are digging the footings. This wall will be coming down. This is going to be all one big open garage here which you'll be able to walk in through from the kitchen which is here which that's probably locked so i won't be able to show you that kevin any good don't go down there then all the materials started to arrive we had all the blocks to build the garage stuff which looked like gym equipment and the foundations have started going in ready for all the concrete all just got back today look at that Already the foundations got put in place and the floor was concreted. We all now got a better look at the floor space that was actually going to get when building this garage. And all the breeze box were put in place so we could see the open entrance as well. And here's just a gist of the space. A lot's happened, but we've been on a road trip and when we've got back, a lot's happened. So we now have a complete-ish driveway. So we've got so much more room down here. We've even got more room down here. Eventually the driveway, driveway will go that way, I think, maybe. But there's a lot of stone, which I think looks a bit plain. We've got all these sleepers on the edge. I, I think we're gonna do a bit of block paving. I was thinking of paving just outside the front of the garage here to make it run nicely inside. Also, the back of the garage has been built up and the holes for the windows are there now. This back window is huge. That's quite good because you can see Kevin. Can everyone just appreciate my gardening skills? Yeah. So there's still going to be a step in the wall here, isn't it? No, that'll all be insulation, so then it'll just be flat. Oh, so it's going to be a complete flat wall all the yeah. way? Yeah, so it's good for the worktops. Right, okay, that's yeah, good for the worktop, but not good for space. Because the Mercerago is like this long, and the Gardo is like this long. But it was really starting to come together now. All we needed now was a roof. And after I went away, now we've missed a lot of stuff because we've been over in Florida doing the RS6 and Abu Dhabi to see the Kuntash. And when we got back, we have a roof and two openings for the door. Another thing that's come in, the skylight in the roof here. We wanted to get as much light in here as possible, but that's pretty cool. And it matches the one that we have just inside the kitchen in there. Today, when we get back, the garage doors should be arriving. And the garage doors did arrive and they're already fitted. They kind of have this frosted glass effect which still lets loads of light inside. No, That's no. It. There you go. There yeah. we go. And the Mercia Lago will go here. Boom. Oh, wow. In. Looks like they've been doing some plastering. Oh my God, it actually looks Plastic like a room. Boarding. The thing is, it makes it look smaller now, all the boards are going in, doesn't it? The roof looks higher than I uh, imagined. Yes. Which like, is good. Yeah, for that's the... good. If I had this back in the day, four years ago, working on the car, oh my God, it would have kicked off in here. <laughs> Hi, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, here's like the light, still lets like good natural yeah. light in. I think a lot of you will probably think, oh, is it going to be a workshop? It's not going to be a workshop, it's more to store. It's a showroom. The cars, yeah, we're going to make a showroom. It's a dream car garage showroom. My unit is for working in, this is for parking in the finished the finish car. After that, the kitchen cabinets arrived. We wanted this space to also be practical. Here was the plan and, well, it turned out pretty close to the plan. It's all quite cool, quite a, uh, quite a 
cool little design. Now you there. Feels good, good quality. Now we were gonna go all the way along with this, hence why the plug socket was gonna be put there. <laughs> but in the end, we decided not to go the full length. Another thing that's been started is the floor. We've gone for these tiles, which I'll show you more in depth later on in the video, but we're hoping to try and get like an inside outside flow to this garage, which is pretty cool. Look what's in the doors. We've had to put in these big door here and this big window here. Now, the reason because of this is so. Oh my god. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Kevin, no, don't. Kevin, leave. Ow. Ow. <laughs> what is this part? Oh my god. This is technically a garage. But if we applied to have it as a living area, which we could have done, then we could have got away with not having these doors. So these doors are fireproof regulated doors. If a car set on fire, we have to be protected inside the house up to so many seconds or something. 30 minutes. 30 minutes, okay. But these doors don't hold heat as well as some garage doors, whereas if we got a garage door which held heat better, we could cast this as living space and then we wouldn't have had to replace these doors because these were really, how much were these doors? The doors and the windows together were five grand. 5,000 pounds we'd have to spend on new doors to meet regulations. But I really wanted these doors because it let so much light in here. And because of that, we have to sacrifice one of the other. Also, the back windows are now in and the lantern is adding so much more light to this garage, doing exactly what we wanted, the indoor-outdoor feel. And looking through into the kitchen is absolutely unreal. This is supposed to be finished in five, five days. days. Oh, look, and we've got the uh, merch. Drying. <laughs> well so you can... Uh, it's a nice place to hang clothes. You can go and... Buy some of the link in the description. <laughs> Apparently, whilst we've been at work today, the garage is fully complete. Well, I'm hoping it's complete, which means one of two things. First thing, the Mercy gets to come home, which brings me on to the second thing. The garage is not going to be complete without some wire foods, but I'll get onto that in a minute when we get it home. They're going to live in a special place in the garage. Now we get to drive the Mercy home and I get to see the garage complete for the first time. I'm hoping this is gonna be good and I'm hoping the Mercy actually fits in it. Let's get home. Yeah, that is looking smart. Driveway is done. That is looking sensational. We need to go check it out. Whoa, yeah. This was absolutely unreal. Look at this. In the floor, charge points for the car, 75 inch TV. Have you tried it yet? Oh. Oh. Wow. I was honestly blown away at how good it looks already. And we still haven't put the cars in yet. If we've not calculated the measurements correctly, this whole thing was a waste of money. First one, the baby Lambo. And it looks like a perfect fit. That's so much room. Yeah. I've got so much confidence for the Virgin Argo now. I have to go in forward because Hannah says I can't go in backwards because I'll burn the cupboards. Yeah, and I, I can't shut the door until you turn it off. This is going to be. It definitely was. And not only that, I can plug the cars in which will trickle charge now with the hidden plug sockets underneath the car. How cool is that? I really wish all that stuff wasn't there. Yeah, we'll clear it. Yeah, yeah. That looks nasty. That looks wicked, doesn't it? That is well cool. Time for the Mercia Largo. Oh. Yes, loads of room. I could have continued my oh, work job. Oh, yeah. We fit. There you go, the home. What do you think? 
Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh. Just going through there. I did tell him to. And now there's Kevin Marks on the, on the floor. Like this is literally like, what the hell? Two Lamborghinis inside the house. It's basically inside the house. <laughs> For tomorrow, we've got the Matt Armstrong edition, special edition wine food. This, they've told us there is not many bottles left of this Matt Armstrong wine food now, the happy banana flavour. If you don't know what it is, it's a meal replacement drink. There's 26 vitamins and min minerals in there. It's high in fibre, high in protein, lactose-free, gluten-free, and there's no added sugar. So instead of have, grabbing fast food, fast food at lunchtime, if you grab one of these, it, um, it's going to fill you up and you're going to be getting what your body needs as well. I think it's cool and I've been having it for years now. And now it's cool to actually have my own name on the bottle next to two Lamborghinis in my flipping house. What the hell? You can, <laughs> you can get one of these whilst they last now with the link in the description and there's even a discount code as well but they're going to be for all the lads and lasses girls as well yeah coming tomorrow and we're going to get the big final reveal but at least the car's fit that's wicked this is going to look well cool in the morning oh my god that is so sick now you can walk through you see at the dinner table and have a look Oh my god! <laughs> How good is that? It don't even look like a house. This is the coolest thing we've ever done. What the hell, man? That is so sick. It's not settled in just yet. Still every morning when I wake up and I see these two cars literally inside my house. <laughs> I still can't believe it. It's absolutely unreal. And maybe you guys have like watched my journey from the very start of like starting in the restaurant car park, working on these cars, and then it's equated to this. Like, I, I never would have thought any of this has happened. I know at the end of the day, it is just a home garage, but this is something that I've always dreamed of doing. And we finally made it happen. I hope it's inspired so many of you to kind of follow your dreams and chase what you want to do, because I never thought any of this would actually be possible. So. Thank you to all you guys for watching the videos. I, I can't thank you all enough. The finished product finally is done. So, start off with the driveway. We've had, I think it's called porcelain tiles and the tiles, oh, they're like really hard and we've like overkilled on the thickness because we were gonna drive over it and we've got heavy cars. But the, the guys that like fitted all of this said we, we did just overkill the tiles like, way too much like they've seen dealerships use like half as thick tiles and it being fine we've gone for the same tiles from the outside to go in so in the summer but you'll get the reason why we're not be here in the summer but when you open it up it should flow from the outside inwards now i'm gonna call this rather than a garage it's kind of like uh a it's a man's trophy cabinet oh I because like that. because it's a trophy cabinet and then here are the trophies here's one and there's two. Oh, one thing that we haven't seen already as well what they've done they put spotlights in there i don't know how to turn them on they might just come on at night and uh all the back is now done they've neatened up all this area as well which is cool and then uh, the windows look out onto this space which we were hoping to have like hot tub area and like a cool chilling out area for the summer, which is absolutely big vibes. Moving back in. At the minute we've got the sofas in because we made it, unfortunately not for the first F1, but the second race of the season, which is what we're gonna watch now. But as you guys know, we've got plenty more than two cars, which is an amazing problem to have. We weren't gonna do a lot more to this garage one what we originally planned, but there's an issue. We're not gonna be this, well, how am I going to explain it? We need more room. But I, yeah, I need more room. And it's exactly what's going to happen. And you'll find out in the next video why this was basically pointless. But <laughs> thanks so much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.